good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever the case may be. Uh, thank you so much again for uh, joining us today. Uh, we're going to go over the real number system and then I'm going to give you some problems, uh, uh, those that are in my class, to uh, take a quiz over and see if you understood what was uh, explained, okay? So in the real number system, all numbers are real numbers. Uh, and then when you get into a different section, you'll you'll see uh, what they call imaginary numbers. But we're going to talk about real numbers today. All right, so the first part of the real number system is the natural numbers. These we call your counting numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you get to whole numbers, 0 and square root of 36, which would be 6, are both whole numbers. So... Uh, I also want you to understand that whole number is not a natural number because the whole number is not in the natural box. However, the natural number is also a whole number. Then you have integers. Integers are your negative numbers, your negative whole numbers, like negative 5 and negative 6 over 3. Negative 6 over 3 is 2, so negative 2 is an integer. An integer is not a whole number or a natural number. A natural number is a whole number and it's also an integer. Whole numbers are also integers. Moving on to rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a fraction, uh, that, and that fraction can be converted into a decimal, either a repeating decimal or a terminating decimal. A repeating decimal means that you know the pattern. This would be 21, 21, 21. A terminating decimal means that it stops. There are no numbers after you know, either the hundreds place or the thousands place that it stops. Okay, so a natural number is a whole number, which is also an integer, which is also a rational number. A rational number is not neither an integer or a whole number or a natural number. Then you have irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that do not repeat themselves. They do not repeat themselves, and they don't have a pattern. They don't repeat themselves and they don't have a pattern. So anything that is not a perfect, if it is not a perfect square, that means it's irrational. If it is not a perfect square, it is irrational. And altogether, the rational integers, whole number, natural numbers, irrational numbers make up the real number system. So that's a short version. Pretty much all you really need to know. Uh, and hopefully you do well in the quiz. Thank you for your time. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Bye.